finish a bubble mailer. Although fortunately I know that the things that are in here are somewhat more durable than a hard plastic item and it didn't come from overseas. And what we have here are a batch of Mark's Toys, Tom Corbett, and Space Patrol era 45 millimeter figures. There's a female. We got the guy holding whatever the imaginary basketball over his head. We've actually got two of them. Slightly different. That's a hard plastic. They're both hard plastic. What's she? I'm sorry, soft plastic. Oh, we'll have to do some editing. She's also a soft plastic. And here's a correct rubbery gray vinyl seated figure with book from the Tom Corbett Space Academy set. Here's another one seated with book. One of those to trade, maybe. Interesting, one is significantly darker than the other. And here's Tom Corbett himself, without a base, in the correct rubberized vinyl. And here's this dude in a white cream vinyl with no base. I don't think he came with a base. Here's another walkie-talkie dude with... Uh, a base and he's definitely a soft plastic and here's a spacewalk guy who has been cruelly cut from his from his base and does not have the accoutrement that that hose would be coming from he'll be used in a, in a, a collage of some sort and then what had caught my eye specifically about the batch other than the female and Tom Corbett is one of our aliens here. This is supposed to be a, a translator device. I think it looks more like a grenade, but it's referred to as a translator device. This is a cream soft vinyl material. And then here he is in an orange rust vinyl, which means that he's from a space patrol set. Or this one was from uh, Tom Corbett's set. And I got out the equivalent figures of them over here. So now I've got four of these guys from four different distinctive production quotas. Uh, the green one was from Operation Moonbase, 1962. I think the olive one may have been a breakfast cereal premium. I am not sure. Or a candy bar premium, something like that. Premium meaning, meaning that you were mailing in box tops or proofs of purchase uh, along with a, a, a quarter or so rather than he was stuck in there. He may have been a breakfast cereal prize. I do not know. And then in now in cream from Tom Corbett. And in red from Space Patrol, or orange rust, whatever you want to call it. Let's compare walkie-talkie dude over here. And yeah, that's a, that's a soft Army Man plastic. This is a vinyl. Um, so he, he, he may have even been from Captain, Captain Space, Captain, Sol, Captain Space Solar Academy. I'm not sure what they called it after a while. There's the kneeling dude. I don't think he ever came with a base. Uh, imaginary basketball guy. Beach ball. Or whatever. And again, that's a soft plastic. The one next to him is... Eh, that's probably a soft plastic too. And he's more of a gray than, than blue. Uh, like Tom Corbett here. Well, 
And that's why Marx added basses to them. Uh, I guess they, they, they finally started hearing people's complaints about how they didn't stand up right. Third dude. Those guys I never had I had one of never had one of. This is plastic. That's not rubbery vinyl. This is rubbery vinyl. That's why they look different. And of course spacewalk guy is just toast. And here's the gal again, which which I recognized her pose, and I was like, you know, okay. Another Mark's female space figure. We'll take it. Oh boy, she's been she's been through the ringer, um, but she's still. I think she's going to have to inherit this helmet because all the girls on my ship wear helmets. They get preferential treatment. Sorry, guys. So there we go. Price was right. Shipping was 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 fine. Uh, fortunately, there wasn't anything hard in it, and I think the guy had his uh, estimation correct that it would reach me in the state that he packed it up as is. And I now have a third confirmed space patrol figure. It's even one of the aliens. I'll take it.